ceremonial signing going on today for the new Trauma Star program. Uh, we all know where we're at. I want to thank first and foremost our Board of County Commission who have been so supportive of this program from day one. As you know, most of us, we've been flying for uh, 21 years now, starting in the early 2000s, about 2002, 2001, with a uh, demilitarized 1967 Vietnam era helicopter. The first three years, which was uh, what we started Trauma Star with, proving we could do it. We then went to an A double plus Korsky S-76 for the next 10 years, still only using one helicopter, at times having other missions waiting. The program, as we know, has developed and grown each and every year to the last time we've had now currently three S-76 C plus models aircraft, which have been serviced as well the last 10 years. But we're at the point now that their life is coming to an end. As we know, we looked at different helicopters, what was the best future of this program with a lot of great input from our friends in the county, fire rescue, aviation, our mechanics, or pilots, and whatnot, we've determined that the most suitable best helicopter for us now is the um, AW-139. This was at one time Augusta, now it's owned by Leonardo. It's an Italian-made helicopter. Uh, I want to say this program is, uh, as we know, one of the most advanced programs ever. This is one of the most advanced, one of the busiest programs in the nation. We know we fly about 1,200 missions a year. We fly about 1,300 people, some are dual litter missions. We know we have some of the most advanced life support uh, operation procedures on this helicopter between blood, TPA, other drugs. So we do stuff that our helicopters don't do, are not equipped to do. Most helicopter programs are designed to lift off, go a short distance and land. They don't have time to do a lot of advanced life support. They're just trying to stabilize the patient for a flight. Our flights are so long and so critical to all advanced life support that our amazing medical personnel have to have special teams, the training, the equipment, do stuff that other programs just don't do, just don't have. As we know, this is a joint cooperative effort between our Florida County Commission, the Sheriff's Office, Hunter County Fire Rescue, 